Today, I'm looking at a new DPIM project called Onokoi. I'll be giving you details about the project, walking you through the setup, and I'm also going to tell you about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing a little bit later, which is going to include absolutely everything that I'm using in this video. Onokoi is a decentralized GNSS, which stands for the decentralized version of a global navigation satellite system. I have covered other similar projects like this, like Fry's Crypto and GeoNet, and they both use a very similar antenna. This opens up the opportunity of dual mining and even triple mining with that one antenna. My good friend Passive Crypto Mining made an excellent video detailing how to dual mine and triple mine. I'll make sure I link that down in the description below. So once you get this set up and you start contributing to the network, Onokoi is going to be giving you a daily reward. One thing I definitely think that you should be doing is jumping onto their Explorer and taking a look at the map of the area that you live in because you do not want to have too many antennas located in the same area that's going to work against you. If there's two or more antennas in your area, you're going to be looking at a significant reduction in rewards. And this penalty has recently changed. They've just made an update to the rewards and penalties. So it's not as significant as it was before. So you want to take a look at the radius of where you're installing this antenna. And right now that's been reduced by 20 kilometers. So you're looking at a radius of 50 kilometers. The first two antennas that are in your radius are going to be ignored. Uh, but the third one and anything after that is when the penalties start beginning. For example, a third neighbor that's 25 kilometers away will have a 50% impact and reduction on your rewards. If that third neighbor is 40 kilometers away, the impact of rewards has been reduced and now will have a 10% impact. Now, the more neighbors that you have that have antennas up, the less and less rewards that you have. I'll make sure I link those details in the description below because you're going to want to review that before you jump into this project. So next up, I'm going to be taking a look at the hardware that's required for the setup. To maximize your rewards, you're going to want to have a triple band or a quad band GNSS receiver. I'm going to be using the N-TRIP-X from GNS Electronics. Uh, you're also going to need a high quality GNSS antenna, and you're also going to need a cable for that antenna. Now, if you're looking at dual mining or even triple mining, you want to add a splitter to the end of this, and then you can connect multiple devices using the same antenna. All these high quality products can be bought directly from GNS Electronics. You can either buy them individually or as a bundle. Now I have the bundle back here behind me and that's what I'm gonna be installing. I'll make sure I link everything down below, including a coupon code that's gonna save you 10% for anything that you purchase there. That's gonna be the one that I'm gonna be giving away. So in order for you to enter this draw, all you have to do is put in GNS giveaway in the comments below. I'll be doing that draw on August 7th, 2024, which is about a week from today and I'll be doing a live draw on my channel and I'll be posting the results on Twitter. Now that you know a little bit about the project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the setup of the hardware. To get started, we're at the Onokoi Explorer page and I'll make sure I link this down below. We're gonna go ahead and sign up for a new account. So we click on sign up and it's gonna want some information from us. So I'll go ahead and enter that in and then click on next. I'm gonna be joining as a miner and I'll click on next. And then it just wants to know the level that we're at right now. I'm gonna say I'm a novice. So I wanna select the station that I'm using. I'm gonna check that. And down over here in the list, I'm gonna be selecting the GNS Ntrip X. We'll go ahead and click on next. We have three options over here. I'll just say I'm immediate. I have used a wallet before and I had a Solana wallet. Wants to know which one I'm using. Uh, I'll select Phantom, I believe that's the recommended one, and click on Next. Uh, I'll go ahead and fill this in, and then we have to accept the privacy policy. The link in the email will ask you to set a password to activate your account, and that would be the last step. All right, so now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go over here and click on Reference Stations, and then we're going to go into End Trip Credentials. We're going to be adding our credential, and go ahead and click on that. And uh, what I'm going to want to do over here is enter in a password. We're going to save this and keep it aside because we're going to have to refer to it later. Okay, and that's it. And then go ahead and click on save. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to make sure that we have our credential name right over here and the password that we have noted because we're going to have to refer to that shortly. I just plugged in a device and it's going to broadcast its own Wi-Fi signal. And you can see there's one listed over here as N trip dash x these numbers might vary but this is the wi-fi that we want to connect to so i'm going to go ahead and connect to that right now great and now what i'm going to want to do is go to the local page on it so i'm going to open up a new browser and we're going to go to 192.168.4.1 and it's going to bring me to the configuration page for my device inside here you can see that it's not connected to a wi-fi network and i want to connect it to my local one so i'm going to, have to switch this on and I'll be putting in my SSID and the password. If you're unsure about that, you can click on scan and it's gonna be able to show you the Wi-Fi networks that are available. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have to give it static settings unless you want to. And we'll scroll down a little bit over here. And now we have the authentication method. Now, right now it's open. I advise to lock this down. This is the admin page. That means anyone can jump in here uh, without uh, username and password. That causes a security concern. You can create a username and password by selecting that and then putting them in. This is gonna be the Ntrip SSID. This is the one that I just connected to to get to this device. Um, you can change this ID if you want, and then you can also have a password associated with it. Again, when I connected to this Wi-Fi connection, I didn't enter a password. Uh, we can go ahead and use the recommended one and then type in a password. And the last step that we wanna do right over here is the Ntrip server. We wanna switch this on, and then we're gonna be putting in a host name. The host name that we're gonna be typing in is servers.onokoi.com. And we'll be leaving the default port as 2101. Uh, the mount point name, you can give it any name. We'll just put in ntripx here. And the username and password, this is gonna be the one that we had generated over here on this web page. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. All right, so now that we have everything in here complete, we can go ahead and click on submit and it's gonna update the device. So there we go, it's restarting it. Uh, once it's reloaded, this configuration will be saved. So now that we have everything configured, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Pulled through some cables, and this is where I have a lot of my other uh, D-pin devices. So this is now configured for my home Wi-Fi network. The only thing I have to do is just remove this and attach the antenna to it. It's powered by USB-C. Go ahead and plug that in. There we go. So that's the last step for the hardware setup. All right, so everything is now fired up. Let's take a look at the status. I've just refreshed the window and you can see that I'm now online. It's been online for 22 minutes and it's validating. Now the validation process actually might take some time. I believe it will take a few days. This process actually does take a little bit of time. Uh, so I'll be checking the status of this in a couple of days just to make sure that I'm up and running and also check my balance to see that I'm earning. All right, so one of the last things that we wanna do is connect a wallet to this. And the website is phantom.app. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly add this to my Chrome browser and uh, I'll quickly just create a wallet. So that's done, I have my wallet set up. Just gonna pin it up here so I can see it. Our wallet is now installed and it's right over here. You do need to have a little bit of Sol in your wallet or Solana in your wallet in order to handle the transaction fees. Uh, so the Solana network fees are fairly low so you won't need very much. I'm gonna end up putting a couple bucks in this wallet just to make sure that it handles it over the next little while. Uh, there will be a registration button right over here once this has been validated which will allow you to connect to your wallet and then earn the tokens. Now the tokens that we're gonna be earning once again is gonna be the B Ono tokens, which is gonna be the beta version of the Ono tokens. Once this goes mean that you are gonna be receiving the Ono token, which will have some value and you'll be able to use it. Uh, this again is in beta. We're still very early into the project. So everything's online. It might take a couple of days for that validation process to be completed and for us to start earning rewards. So like all the other projects that I do, I post my results on Twitter. So you can see my ongoing progress there. Everything I talked about in this video will be linked in the description below. So you can check out their socials, the white paper and all the hardware that's required. I definitely want to give a shout out to GNS Electronics. Thank you very much for supplying the hardware and allowing me to do this giveaway. If there's anything I missed or if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.